has such hard work to do. <laughs> Why did you draw on the scratch orchestra? Why? Why? Well, this uh, was right at the beginning. Uh, back in July, 69. You're a music musician? Yes, yeah. What are you doing, Catherine? What, now? No, what's your job? Are you a student? No, well, I, I don't really have a job. To express the sort of situation of the scratch orchestra, like I was saying, like, you know, like, like shouting from the hill or something like that. I mean, to me, that would express just the idea of that having a film camera a long way away, you know, yeah. and, the, and the slight sound and everything, like, these words just floating across with, with, the, with the right intention, you know, trying to explain our political situation, but from a long way through a great volume of air. Yeah. I mean, to me, that's sort of like, uh, that would be interesting to have on the thing, you know, yeah. an interview like that. But to have yeah. one that's just... <laughs> No, um, I don't know how much Newcastle itself has influenced it. Um, I feel the influence of this campsite uh, more than <coughs> I felt any inf external influence before. What does scr scratch music mean, mean and, and, contra and the contrary to, to other kinds of music? Uh, the music played by the Scratch Orchestra, well, it's, um, it seems necessary to involve a lot of people, <laughs> social. Uh, Is there any kind of message or a certain go of, of Scratch music? You want audience participation. Do you want to tell audience anything? No. Uh, Emphatically not. <laughs> Emphatically not. Um. Maybe they could tell us a thing or two. Is it mainly to, to enjoy yourself? Uh, to enjoy yourselves, to uh, have your own creative playground? Or do, do you want to influence? No, no. What is it, what, what, that's, what is well, it? that's just the title. These people were evicted from a site near the Newcastle. They went to stay in the moorland, you know. Uh, yeah, they did a few activities from, from this campsite. You can see it, you know. And this is what they were, you know. What do you think of them? They can't express what they're doing. They don't really, they don't really have any uh, particularly clear political ideas about what is happening, at least in, expressed in words in front of the camera. Das Gute an diesem Mittel der Kommunikation, die Musik heißt, ist, dass es nicht mit der komplizierten Verhältnisse von Worten. Also man, man hat keinen verbalen Konflikt innerhalb der Musik. Es hat, es hat kein Ziel, nicht? Also, das, es gibt kein Ziel für das Scratch Orchester. Es, es äh, lebt weiter, akzeptiert die Einflüsse, die von außen kommen, durch die neuen Mitglieder, und die, die dann abgehen, andere Interessen finden und wie, wie die Struktur sich entwickelt mit diesem wechselnden Material. Es ist, äh, das Zweck ist da eingeschlossen. Welche Art von Leuten tendieren überhaupt dazu, in einem Scratch Orchester mitzumachen? Das ist absolut heterogen, nicht? Das ist, man, man findet ähm, plastische Künstler, nicht? Musiker, es äh, sind auch ein paar berufsmäßige Musiker dabei und dann Leute, die normal arbeiten, sagen wir im Büro, nicht? die kommen auch, Lehrer, die, die kommen, die finden auch die Ideen des Scratch Orchesters nützlich in, beim Unterricht geben in der Schule. Und, äh, ein paar Studenten auch. Eine wirklich heterogene Gruppe. Und eben daraus 
kommen viele der, der guten Wirkungen in, in dem Orchester. Dass diese ganz, ganz verschiedene Leute ihre Ideen zusammenbringen und sich gegenseitig befrüchten. Purely a graphic score. He accused me of playing wrong notes. <laughs> no, I was, I was very impressed by, by this because um, playing from graphic scores seems an opportunity to play sound one would like to play. And um, I was impressed by the uh, very dictatorial demands of the score through his attitude to rehearsing it. Mind you, he's like. He's, he must have become less dictatorial, unless his ear has become less sensitive to it. <laughs> I think that his, his being dictatorial has taken new shapes. Ah, oh, yes. I, I think that possibly now, um, instead of thinking ahead to one performance, he's um, possibly governing the lives of a lot of musicians. I think that uh, it's, um, it's a very good thing that somebody is, um, uh, with such a large uh, conception uh, of uh, musical activities, should dictate the lives of musicians rather than somebody who's just insist on one performance conforming to some standards of this. I think that he's um, set up some standards of uh, approaches to his life and uh, being in the same area that he developed. I think that uh, this, this Er wollte auch möglichst viele in ihrer Individualität äh, vortreten lassen. Und er wollte das für seine Kompositionen ausnutzen. Also das Potenzial von vielen Menschen, möglichst vielen verschiedenen. Ich habe äh, in London Malerei studiert an der State School und ich fühlte mich sehr isoliert und ich dachte Kunst hat überhaupt keinen Sinn und ich wollte schon äh, aufgeben und äh, da war das Scratch Orchester eine sehr gute Gelegenheit, äh, mich mit anderen auseinanderzusetzen. War das eine große Veränderung für dich, was Kunst anbetrifft? Äh, ja, das war eine sehr große Veränderung. Äh, und ich, ich hatte vorher immer die Absicht, äh, politisch zu arbeiten. Und da das sah ich äh, keine Möglichkeit, das mit meiner künstlerischen Arbeit zu verbinden. Und nachdem ich äh, dem Scratch Orchester beigetreten war, äh, da hat, war ich erstmal so äh, beschäftigt, da, damit beschäftigt, also meine eigene Persönlichkeit äh, mit den anderen da auseinanderzusetzen, dass ich erstmal meine politischen Absichten äh, vergessen habe und eigentlich nur mit mir selbst beschäftigt war, mit meinen persönlichen Problemen und Ehrgeizen und mit meinem persönlichen Verhältnis zu anderen Menschen überhaupt. From a slightly now, from a slightly more political viewpoint, I think the Scratch Orchestra was a spontaneous uh, a rising against the more conventional forms of music. You know, there was also, uh, uh, I think, a, a, a thing which happened in a definite generation. It was anti-elitist. I think it's very important to say it's yeah. anti-elitist. Anti-elitist. It's uh, much more democratic than normal music-making procedures. 
what do you, uh, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, my view, I think um, we, we realised it was important to kick the whole idea of art as an elitist idea out of the window before you can really do anything that's at all um, truly democratic. And the great thing about the Scratch Orchestra is that uh, anybody can be in it. There are no qualifications. Uh, nobody questions you. You can do exactly what you like in it. Of course, one can build up feelings of responsibility, varying shades while in the Scratch Orchestra. But um, it's uh, a kind of music making, for, for want of a better term, in which really anybody and everybody can take part. That's, I think, its great strength. I was around, around about 1968 when it formed. I was around Morley College and doing the experimental music course. And I just got hooked up with the beginning of it. And How the did you hear formation. about it? Um, through the, the course, the experimental music course, which is run by Core. You're interested in music? Yeah. What is music to you? Could you define it? Well, I, th I think, first of all, you've got to think of two different sorts of music altogether. There's the, the music associated with the orchestra, what for, you know, the scratch music, which incorporates almost anything that happens within the context of the orchestra, whether it be oral or visual or tactile. Um, and music other, outside the orchestra, which uh, through tradition partly has become to be accepted as all structured or destructured, um, oral. But the difference between the way the scratch orchestra play and the way that, uh, say, um, any symphony orchestra playing contemporary music plays is that when we play, ideally, anyway, and often in, in, in practice, the whole personality is involved. Yeah. Well, whereas when contemporary, when orchestras play contemporary music, it's simply a job. You know, they're reading a piece, we're reading a score, and there's always, always feel this distance between them and the score. Job. I work for the Centre for Overseas Pest Research. What do you do? Um, I feed and clean locusts and cut them up. <laughs> so scratch music is uh, kind of your spare spare time? No, um, Centre for Overseas Pest Research is kind of my spare time. <laughs> it's where I get some money to live on.
up here. Oh, and that there. Yes. Take that bloody thing away. Für mich äh, das Leben des Orchesters ist irgendwie unabhängig von, von, der, von der Presse, von überhaupt von Massenkommunikation. Also wir, wir sind wo wir sind und spielen für die Leute, die da auftauchen. Das, äh, wenn, wenn wir große Ambitionen hätten, äh, größer zu sein nicht? und äh, viel Geld zu verdienen oder sowas, dann werden wir natürlich der Presse ausgeliefert. Dann müssen wir achten auf dem, was sie denken, auch auf was die Musikkritiker denken und so weiter und so weiter. Yes, the program is different. Why? Each program is different. Why? Why, why is that? If you have a good program, sure you can keep it on. We must make constant change. Well, what, what was particularly offensive to the, uh, the catalogs? The audience loved it. Yes. The quarter of the Civic Centre thought it was offensive. I will learn with practice. Music I have diploma in composition from academy Scratch Orchestra will be capable of doing an event where possibly people don't even realize that this is a concert situation. And people won't be respectful. They, they'll join in. They'll uh, possibly heckle. They'll, they'll possibly uh, disagree with the idea of the whole thing taking place. Um, so the Scratch Orchestra isn't on the kind of pedestal that, that another performing group might be. I think solidarity is the last thing. Uh, that the orchestra needs. The audience is perhaps just as interested in um, what the Scratch Orchestra means socially. I mean, they're, they're perhaps less interested in the musical um, rewards. It's, it's an expression of anarchy, I think. It's, it's really about, it is about anarchy. I think, uh, in relationship to the question of how art uh, is in relationship to society. Uh, I'd like to read this. Uh, in the world today, all culture, all literature and art belong to definite classes and are geared to definite political lines. This is a fact. And uh, that, that's a statement from Mao Zedong. And I think in our society, art and culture, wittingly or unwittingly, is used um, against one class you know, for, for another class. Ich habe mich schon lange Gedanken gemacht über, über, über die Funktion, die das Scratch Orchester im, also in der Gesellschaft hat. Und, aber ich fühlte, dass ich da wenig Anklang eben finden würde und so habe ich das äh, für mich gehalten die meiste Zeit. Bis ich eben das Gefühl hatte, da sind noch andere, andere äh, bemüht worden. Viele Diskussionen über Politik könnte das Orchester ziemlich schwächen. Warum? Weil, wenn Sie überlegen, wie Musik benutzt werden kann für politische Zwecken, dann werden sie eine andere Vision von Musik haben, wie wir jetzt haben. Also 
für mich wäre das eine ganz andere Vision, als überhaupt das Scratch Orchester hat. Und also wenn die Vorstellung von dieser neuen Art Musik klar würde, dann würden solche Leute eine neue Gruppe machen und diese revolutionäre Musik dann machen. Aber bevor sie das machen, wird es das Orchester schwächen. Cornelius hat eben bisher immer fertig gebracht, dass, äh, sich aus dem politischen Zusammenhang, also für mich ist eben der politische Zusammenhang einfach der weitere Zusammenhang, sich daraus rauszuhalten. You know, I, I like to get meet people and have people uh, in, say here now or, or subsequent meetings who are from, polit from political organizations, shop stewards yeah. who are actually working in factories, you know, and, and, and who are in contact with the workers all the time, which we're not, yeah. and to talk to them about mm. art, about music. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you should do. I mean, that's what I want to do. That's what's important, mm. you see. It's the workers who've got to decide their ideology, because <coughs> they've got to actually... <coughs> in that sense, we're yeah. going to say that some music is political, some music isn't. I think the music we have is political. It can yeah. be, you know, we've, we've already got the material. We've got, political we've got all the material. Mm. It's in a political context now, yeah. not to change It's the, the context music we have to, to find now. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. It's how to do it, you know, we've got the material. Yeah. Well, your music That's might change as well, you know, when we do that, it might change, it should change, really. It's well, I think change music will change. Oh, yeah, I'm change. sure, but uh, I think change. it will do. It will change. Yeah, I'm obviously not advocating a complete sellout of all our values. <laughs> oh, it's not a sellout, I don't think it's that anyway, you know, I just... Uh, but, um, yeah, I think we could start off, you know, let's start off in, in um, your... Know, by necessity, small ways, mm. and and mm. and have some people, some pieces like we could do the international. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know. Yeah. We could actually do a, a singing version and a drum mm. version of the international. Yeah. You know? And there are lots of uh, there are lots of songs. Like that. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm. a lot of drumming pieces, simple singing pieces, like even even the great diet, some of the great dieters. Perhaps yeah. I mean, there's mm. that style anyway. Not so, I mean, because you've got problems with the. There is a text there, <laughs> but we can always adapt that without the composer's knowledge. <laughs> I mean, there are quite great problems with that. It's not really doing political work. Political work is not done you know, by music. And I think you have to do it with, uh, with, with, with affiliated to other groups. You know, we, we give, you know, we can make, we can play, we can make them feel ready. We can make them, as I say, we can make them feel confident, make them feel good. You know, music can, can do this. It's going to be really emotional, really direct. politisch engagierten Gruppe in einem Scratch Orchestra, dass das, was bis jetzt gemacht wird, ein, ein Spielplatz ist für ja. die Leute, fast, ein, fast eine Jugendgruppe. Ja, die ich sich finde, an sich selbst erfreut. jeder Mensch muss spielen. Nicht? Also Spielplatz ist absolut wichtig für alle, egal welche politische Meinung. Und im Spiel muss man zurückgehen auf die grundlegenden Situationen der Menschheit. Und von diesen grundlegenden Positionen kann man ausgehen. Und man kann ausgehen in beliebige Richtung. Also die, die Politischen, nachdem sie in der Scratch Orchester gewesen sind, können auf dem Grund ihre politische Musik machen. Das ist dann gut basiert. Und die, die dann ganz ordentliche Musik und Konzert zählen, die können auch die Richtung nehmen und äh, das besser machen, als die sonst gemacht hätten. Also das, das, die, das Scratch Orchester ein Platz ist, wo alles zurückgeht auf das Grundlegende. Das finde ich, das finde ich ist das Wesentliche.
the last part of the performance, I employed notes which did not have that wearing effect. I blended them together at the command of spontaneity. Hence they came as if following one another in confusion, like a clump of plants springing from one root, all like the music of a forest, produced by no visible form. The sounds spread themselves all around without leaving a trace of their cause. They seemed to issue from deep obscurity where there was no sound. Their movements came from nowhere. Their home was in the deep darkness. Conditions which some would call death and some life. Some the fruit and some merely the flower. Those notes moving and flowing on, separating and shifting, not following any regular sound. The world may well have doubts about them and refer them to the judgment of a sage. For the sages understand the nature of this music and they judge it in accordance with the prescribed spontaneity. You listen for it and do not hear its sound. You look for it and do not perceive its form. It fills heaven and earth. It envelops all within the universe. You wish to hear it, but could not take it in, and therefore you were perplexed. Stiller wird zerstört. Stiller ist manchmal unerträglich. Manchmal ist Musik in der Lage, Stiller in einem erträglichen Zustand zu verwandeln. Manchmal ist Stiller zerstört durch einen einzigen Schlag. Manchmal gelingt es der Musik, Stiller scheinbar kontinuierlich zu zerstören. Oder gar, was selten der Fall ist, irgendwelche Musik fährt fort, Stiller zu zerstören, lange nachdem der letzte Ton verklungen ist. Die kontinuierliche Zerstörung stimuliert eine kontinuierliche Kreativität. Es gibt keine zwingende Notwendigkeit für Musik, Stille zu zerstören. Aber sie tut es, aus schierer Bosheit und Lebensfreude. Musikinstrumente werden zerstört. Wenn man mit schwitzenden Fingern auf den Seiten im Innern des Klaviers spielt, werden diese Seiten mit der Zeit rostig, worauf Klavierstimme immer heftig hinweisen. Nun, das ist also schlimm, die Seiten sind zerstört. Aber jeder, 
der im Innern des Klaviers spielt, kennt die wundervollen Töne, die man am rostigen Seiten erhalten kann und die wirklich unerhältlich sind, wenn die Seiten neu sind. Cellos bekommen sehr oft einen Sprung im Holz. Zumindest tun's meine. Und wenn der Sprung zu rasseln beginnt, erfährt man die gleiche Erneuerung des musikalischen Materials durch den Prozess de, der Zerstörung. Ich als Musiker bin eher bereit, die Spontaneität des Klangs eines auseinanderfallenden Instruments anzunehmen, als in seinen sanften, sorgfältig bewahrten Perfektionen. Was hat das Crutch Orchestra für dich persönlich bedeutet? Oh, eine wunderbare Blüte von Kompositionen eigentlich. Also die, die Komponisten, die im Scratch Orchester sind, die, sind, die haben Sachen produziert haben über den letzten zwei Jahren, die sonst nicht zustande gekommen wären. Was es uns zusammengebracht hat, ganz verschiedene Dinge, aber unter anderem The Great Learning. Ein Projekt, das mich beschäftigt hat über drei Jahre. Also in, in diesem Sinne, die Produktion des Scratch Orchester ist mir sehr wichtig gewesen. Also das, was gemacht wird. Aber ich bin Komponist nicht, ich kann nicht anders reagieren. Ich gucke immer auf die Komposition. Und äh, Mensch, wir haben uns gefreut die ganze Zeit. Man schreibt Musik für bestimmte Leute, zum Beispiel. Und äh, das finde ich schon sehr viel wert, wenn hier eine Gruppe wie das Scratch Orchester, das, das ist etwas, wofür man komponieren kann. Die, Mitte, die Mitteilung der Komposition ist dann was ganz, ganz anderes. Und das betrifft die Außenwelt. Aber das haben, darüber haben wir überhaupt nicht gesprochen. Können wir nicht sprechen. Also die Mitteilung der Komposition in Worte übersetzen, das tötet dann die Komposition nicht. Mehr. Ich 
absorbed uh, English artist manages to lead uh, a successful and schizophrenic life in which um, his political motivation, his artistic motivation can take completely different lines. I suppose we have an insane confidence that the political thinkers uh, will be able to sort something out. If things turn out unfavorably to us as um, contrivers of sounds, then that is bad luck and there's nothing that we could have done to help it. Society uh, is uh, too large a concept for me. Well, I, I think we all have very uh, different views of what the Scratch Orchestra is and, and what its potential is. Um, I mean, I've been in the Scratch Orchestra for two years and uh, I'm still not able to say precisely what it is uh, and what it isn't. You know. uh, I think it has a lot of potential. It's got to get out into society or it's, um, so that there's going to be feedback. It's got to, something's got to come, go out from it and then it's got, it's got to get something back. It must not, I think if it uh, enclose, encloses itself, I think it's doomed, I think it'll die.